Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Tim Henderson. I wanted to update you on why this arrest in Canada of this CFO of Huawei is so significant. Now, if you've been following the story in the news, Huawei is a Chinese telecom company. Now, let's put it in perspective. Who are the three top telecom com companies in the world? Some of you might think that's actually Apple, but that's not the case. Apple's actually number three. The number one telecom company is a Korean company, and you'll probably recognize this name, Samsung. The number two is Huawei. Now, this CFO, this, this woman, Chinese woman, this Chinese company, is the daughter of the founder of the company. Now, in China, when you go after one of their top executives in one of their companies. It's like going after the Chinese government. This is very serious to them. So she's arrested in Canada. They're working to extradite her to the United States. And the president and the administration in China is not happy with President Trump and with his administration in the United States right now. Other significant things are going on regarding China. As I've been reporting for a couple years now, the, the underground church is under persecution and under high watch. However, that is one of the fastest growing body of believers in the world, praise God. Under persecution, they're growing rapidly. The Vatican has made an agreement with the Chinese government that the Chinese government can approve and assign the bishops and the priests um, for the churches, for the Catholic churches in China. Well, those government approved churches are just a farce. They're not real churches. And no surprise there. We know that this Pope, I've already done videos on that. You can go look at that. I want to stay on China right now. So you've got this issue with Huawei. They're not happy. You have the trade issues between the U.S. and China. You have the persecution of true followers of Jesus in China. You have the Bible, the laws where the some people say, yeah, you can. Well, I know that there are laws there, and I've talked to people inside China. They've restricted the sale online and in stores of the Bible. Um, Christian materials that are not approved. So they are anti-God, anti-Christ, the Chinese government. And we know that. There's also the issue in the South China Sea. In fact, one of their leaders recently said that if the U.S. enters what they determine, that now if you don't recall, they have these man-made islands in the South China Sea that is breaking international treaty and agreements, and they're using it as military basis, if you will, that they can deploy their, their military, you know, jets and, and equipment and what they need. There's, the stage is being set for the kings of the east, as mentioned in Revelation. I'm telling you, it's, it's being set. And so... But why? Why? Let's go back to Huawei, this company. Why would the United States, why would our administration ask Canada to arrest that CFO? That doesn't make sense, does it? Well, it does when you understand this. We have sanctions against Iran. You know that the JCPOA, the Iran nuke deal that President Trump pulled out of, thank God he did, that the Obama administration put in was a bad deal. There are those who disagree with me. You're, you're dead wrong. Look at the people in Iran. That Iran is a leading sponsor of state terrorism around the world, and their people are suffering while they take the funds that should go to help infra infrastructure and take care of their own people. The people who used to march in the streets burning Israeli and American flags and chanting death to both are now coming against their own government. That's how bad it is for them, and we need to pray yet again in a place where they're suffering there's great conversions and people are coming to Jesus. They're converting from Islam. They're coming to know Jesus as Lord and Savior, and that's glorious. But we need to pray for those brothers and sisters in Iran, what they're going through. And, and so what happened was Huawei was giving telecom equipment to Iran when we have sanctions against them, and that's why the U.S. stepped in 
and did this arrest. Let me tell you, China is not happy. So back to the South China Seas. I hope that I'm helping you follow along. There's so much going on with China. Back to the South China Seas. So they build these man-made islands that they can deploy their military conquest. The United States has been very vocal. This goes against international rule. You don't have a right. And the U.S. goes into what should be international waters. A Chinese leader said, if the U.S. comes in, we should deploy two warships, one to stop them and seize them, and one to ram them, just like Russia did with Ukraine when they determined that the Kerch Strait, that Ukraine had no right, and that's not true. That's international uh, waters that they should be able to go through. By the way, Ukraine is still in martial law and they're still gearing up for possible attack from Russia. So you've got China who is now becoming a stronger ally of Iran, Russia, now by extension Turkey, and so you've got China working with them. China the tensions between the U.S. and Russia, the U.S. and China, the U.S. and Iran are increasing. We're seeing the foundation for Ezekiel's war to happen. And now when we, when we read in Revelation that the kings of the east will come up the Euphrates River, what, when are they going to do that? For the battle of Armageddon. Folks, this is post the rapture of the church. Do you see that? This, while it's sobering, it's, it's exciting. By the way, and I believe it's the sixth bowl that it talks about. I'm, I could be wrong. I'm doing this from memory, guys. I believe it's the sixth bowl where the angel and you know pours out the bowl and the Euphrates River is dry. And again, I may be wrong, so check for yourself. I'll check later. I'm not going to redo the video for that. But the Euphrates River is dried up. Do you know that China can now dry the Euphrates River up? in a 24 hour period because they have a dam to do so. It's, isn't that just amazing? So we're seeing the stage set for these end time prophetic events. Now, do you get it? That means the church, the body of Christ, the bridegroom is gonna come for his bride and snatch her away first. It, so while it's sobering, it's also exciting. But I wanted you to be aware of what China is doing right now. So they're in they're in alliance with Russia and with Turkey and with Iran. They actually were given telecom equipment and things to Iran and we know what Iran does. Iran is out out to destroy Israel. Iran is the leading state sponsor of terrorism in the world. They hate Israel. They they hate the United States of America and China was aiding them, this company. And so our president, his administration said, Canada, you arrest them. Canada did. They complied with that, our ally there. And China is furious. Tensions are heating up. And we look at the prophecies in the Bible and we can see the foundation. You know, we need to continue praying. We need to pray for the people in those countries. We, we have brothers and sisters in those countries. We need to pray for our own nation. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know. Some of us think that we're protected and nothing will ever happen. We don't know that. But no matter what happens, we know that we serve an awesome God. And we have authority as believers. And until something happens, you, you know, we talk about the rapture and it's so important because it's going to happen at any second. I believe that. Prophetic, everything that needed to happen for the rapture is going to happen. But there's also my rapture, right? I'm not guaranteed my next breath. So it's important that you surrender your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Confess your sins. Turn from that. Ask him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. Well, I love you guys. God bless you and have an awesome rest of your day.